What's up guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do two things. Um, one, export uh, structure files or .mc structures. I'm going to go over this really quick just in case anyone here doesn't know how to do it. Um, and the, se the second thing is, is I'm going to be actually showing you how to edit these files. Now, for a long time, me and um, a few friends of mine have been looking into how to do this, and we finally found a way to do it, so that's what I'm going to be showing you. Now, to export an MC structure, you're going to have to be on your PC um, to do this. It won't work on console. But, um, yeah. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place a line of commands just as a demonstration for a structure. This can be any structure you want. If you want it to be, let's say, a build or commands, whatever you want to do with it, right? But for commands, I'm going to do it with a command block um, because when we edit the structure later on, this is going to be really useful to show. So, I'm just, just going to type in whatever I want. Um, this part is for later on in the video, but I'm just going to type, let's say, uh, say ABC, right? And then I'm just going to copy my command block. Just do maybe a few lines. Why not? Um, say ABCD and then E. Sure, that works. We don't need any more than that, right? Now we're going to have, we're going to take a structure block and what we need to do is get these, um, commands or whatever our structure would be into just that that zone so what I mean by that is if you see this bounding box that's all that's inside it is what we want to exploit so we're gonna type a structure name in here and I'm just gonna do my I don't know um, command ABC right why not and then we're gonna go down here and at the bottom you may notice this exploit button it's a common misconception but some people think it's with 3d exploit but it's actually with exploit down here so I'm gonna click exploit gonna ask me it's gonna ask me where I want to put the file I'm just gonna put it in my documents folder right now and I'm gonna click export and then if I were to go into let me close this out and then if I open this up um, my file is explorer and then I went to documents then there we go it's right here now what I mean by edit it I don't mean just open the file because when you do I mean, you can read some of this, but if you try to edit it and load it back in, it corrupts the file and doesn't work. So, what we actually need is this little program down here. It's called MBT Studio, which I'll put a download for it in the description. Um, and it may seem like a sketchy download because you don't know it, um, but one thing I can say for it, it's on GitHub, so it's open source if you are someone who knows how to or if you're smart then you can look into the source code even so yeah don't fear this program too much so all we have to do is go to file and open and then we have to select which file we want to open i'm actually gonna black out my screen really quick because it'll prompt in my downloads folder and i've i use my computer for school and this so i don't really want to show everything but let me turn this back on okay now you can see my screen again so as you can see in my documents folder, I have my um, file we just exported. I'm going to double click it to open it, and there we go. So you may not know what this means. Trust me, I'll walk you through it. But um, yeah, so all we need to do is we want to edit the commands. That's what I mean by edit it. So for instance, if I go back to Minecraft, I want this command to say, I don't know, um, instead of ABC123, right? So what I'm going to do is go back here, and then I'm going to open my structure. Then I'm going to open uh, palette, then default, and then block position data. And these are my three command blocks. So if you want, you can open these, have a look. As you can see, here's everything. But we can edit this one by one, right? But instead of doing that, there's an easy way to mass edit it. All we need to do is we need to go here. Then we need to copy it. So we need to press Control and C on the keyboard. Then in the search bar down here, you want to open notepad and then simply paste so you can right click and paste or do control V but this may look a bit confusing okay but all you have to remember is what do we want to change so what we can do is we can press control H which is find and replace and then I wanted to replace ABC with one two three and this will replace whatever is in the command Right. So if I like this will replace anyway, there's an ABC with one, two, three. Again, if you're using an actual command block, this is just for demonstration. Practical example is cell pads or chest UI shops where you're working with IDs. You do one whole row 
in ID1, you open the structure file, and then you change all of ID1 to ID equals 2, to 3, to 4, and load the files right back in. But this, again, is just an example for test, but that would be a practical example. So now we're just going to click Replace All, OK? And as you can see even here, here's one of our commands. Now it's 1, 2, 3 instead of ABC, right? But all we're going to do, press Control and A on the keyboard, press Control C, and then we're going to go back to MBT Studio. We are going to click on this, click Delete to delete it. I click the Delete key. I'm not sure if Backspace works. Maybe, maybe not. Just click Delete, though. Then we're going to go click on default here and then press control and V on the keyboard. And now if we open this stuff back up and we want to open a command block, as you can see, it says one, two, three. And then same here. If we open another one, one, two, three. And here it'll say one, two, three. So now all we need to do is file, save, and then it's saved. But how are we going to load it back in? Because we can't just go to Minecraft, go to here and load it back, the file's not put anywhere, it's just in our documents folder. Now, what we're going to need is a um, behavior pack. So, if you don't know how to do this, it's not too hard. Um, but, yeah, what we're going to do is go to our documents, find a file, um, right-click it, and cut or copy. Either works, I'm just doing cut because we don't need it there anymore. Then I go to Minecraft Worlds. This is my, the top one will be the world you're currently in. Um, or you could look for the one you need in, or just create a behavior pack in general. But yeah, I'm going to go into my behavior packs. I made a pack, um, and in it, all we need is a manifest folder and a structures, you know, manifest file and a structures folder. In it is where we're going to put this. This was a file from when I was testing earlier, but so I'm just going to paste mine here. And if you're loading it into the same world as you exported it, um, I would recommend changing the name just in case. So all I'm going to do is just, I did ABC, I'm just going to do ABCD, just change the name up a little bit. And once we're done with that, all I need to do is I need to go back to Minecraft, okay? I need to close it, and then I need to reopen Minecraft. Once it loads back up, if you don't already have your behavior pack applied, which I'll show you how to check it, it's pretty simple though. Um, but if we don't already have it applied, we need to apply it. If we already have it applied, we can go in and I'll show you how to load it. Okay, so now that we have Minecraft back open, all we're going to do, click play, find our world file. Um, a world, not file. <laughs> <clears throat> go down to behavior packs and check and make sure it's on. This is what I called mine. Um, but yeah, all you need to do is click here and then find what you called it in the manifest and apply it. Um, I'm pretty sure I did a video showing that, so look back on my channel a little bit. You should be able to find it. If not, um, I'm sure someone else has done a better video than I could on this. So, yeah. Anyway, once we have our behavior pack on with our file in the structures folder, we can load the map right back up and then place a structure block down. Go over to load. I'm just going to get rid of this negative one so it loads flat. And then load CMD ABCD which that was our file name. And then as you can see, it's ready to load. And then I just got to click this little button down here, load. And the final thing to see, ooh, did it work? Well, seeing as it loaded and didn't not load, because usually the name would pop up gray. Let's say I did, um, if I went to load quickly and did CMD and then A, B, C, D, E, right? Or whatever, CMD, A, B, C, D, E, okay? I meant to delete that, but if it's grayed out, this is what I'm trying to show, then it means there's an issue loading it, meaning it can't find a file that's correct. So meaning that could mean one of two things. Your file is either corrupted or you didn't save one under this name. In this instance, there's no file saved under this, whatever you want to call this name. But if it was white and allowed me to load it like this one did, that means it worked. And we can even open the command blocks and see that it worked. Now, again, this is just an example, but a practical use case would be if you're editing thousands of command blocks and you have to change IDs for them, for instance, right? Um, yeah, so if you look back on my cell pads video, for instance, you can see how this would be really useful there. It can cut down on time and save so much of it. But um, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. This was really just showing something me and a few people have found. We've been looking for it forever, and we finally found this program. Again, it is not my program, but I will link it down in the description so you can go download it for yourself and put it to whatever you want to use it for. So, yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. 
If you liked it, make sure to give it a like if you really liked it and it helped you out. Make sure to subscribe. And um, yeah, if you have any suggestions or videos you want me to do in the future, leave a comment down below. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.